This chapter begins with Absalom in exile and ends with his experiencing the kiss of forgiveness from his father David in the palace in Jerusalem. For a second time, David is tricked into condemning his own action by someone who comes to him for judgment on a matter that appears to be unrelated to David's life. The person most responsible for Absalom's return to Jerusalem was Joab, David's commander in chief. The king's attitude toward Absalom was softening, we see in verse one. Yet Joab knew that David was unlikely to initiate any action without some help. While the actress in the drama was a woman from Tekeo, Joab was the writer and producer. The text says that he put the words in her mouth in verse three. The two principles in conflict were articulated clearly. The son who had killed his brother deserved the punishment of death and the clan was calling for that. The other principle was the fact that to carry out the punishment would bring her line to an end and make her childless, which would also impoverish her because the clan would claim all of her possessions. David quickly decided that the remaining son should not be executed and that his mother would be protected from any who would dispute that judgment. What he could not see in his own family, he saw so clearly in the woman's family. It is human nature that we all tend to apply judgment more wisely to others than to ourselves. After David committed himself to the woman, she knew that she had succeeded in her purpose. So she dropped all pretense that the issue she was discussing was personal. That she saw David's action against Absalom as against the people of God in verse 13 indicates that both she and Joab saw the issue as political and not personal. The woman told David the truth and left. David then called Joab in and announced his decision and gave him the authority to carry it out. The scene in which David and Absalom see each other for the first time in five years is tense and moving. If this were the end of the story, it would make a wonderful illustration of forgiveness and reconciliation.